King Charles would welcome back Harry and Meghan and is keen for reconciliation. King Charles would welcome a reconciliation with his son Prince Harry and wife Meghan, a friend of the new king has claimed. The revelation comes less than a week after Charles was crowned king of the United Kingdom, with his wife, Queen Camilla. The Duke jetted straight back to the U.S. following the ceremony but not before visiting Buckingham Palace, his first time seeing the royal home since his grandma, Queen Elizabeth, died. Harry went back to California for his son, Prince Archie's birthday. The Duke joined a 2,000-strong congregation in Westminster Abbey for his father's coronation, and was spotted grinning with pride. A friend of King Charles told the Daily Beast that he will always want to reconcile with his son and Meghan. The friend said, The opportunity that was there for Harry to sort this out with the king is gone for now. Of course, Charles would always welcome a reconciliation with Harry and Meghan, he has made that very clear, and his door is always open in that regard. The Sussexes stepped away from royal duties in 2020 to start a new life in America. The couple have pursued a series of media adventures in the U.S. that has seen them break with royal tradition, including their Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. Harry also provided fresh insights into life as a royal in his tell memoir Spare, making claims about other senior members of the family, such as his brother Prince William. The Duke and Duchess may have broken royal protocol, but the King's coronation signaled that the institution will always welcome them back into the fold. Harry flew into the UK for his father's coronation on a commercial American Airlines flight, just 24 hours prior to the event, accompanied by a throng of stunned passengers. He travelled over 5,000 miles to join the rest of the royal family in celebrating his father's big day. Arriving on Friday evening, the Duke spent around 28 hours in the UK, and left for California shortly after the ceremony had concluded to be with son Archie on his fourth birthday. During the event, he sat in the third row at the Westminster Abbey ceremony, which meant the Duke of Kent, the Duke of Gloucester and James, Earl of Wessex, son of the King's brother, the Duke of Edinburgh, were placed on the pew in front of him.